In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Now, in this sitting, I would like to give you a short story which is related to my life as a Muslim. I would like to divide this script or this clip into three parts my pre Islamic life, my life just before becoming a Muslim. And finally, my life, 15 year, years ahead. Now, I'm from Jamaica and I have been a Muslim for about 15 years. Now, in my pre-Islamic life, I was risen by my mother. Now, in Jamaica, it's the norm for a parent, especially the mother, to raise her child. Now, throughout my life, as a child, I used to go to church just like any other, uh, any other Christian. I used to go to Sunday school. I used to joke around. I used to have fun, which is a norm. Now, throughout my pre-Islamic life, there were certain morals that my mother had taught me and brought me up on. For example, not to steal not to tell lies, and most, and most importantly, that you, I should worship the Creator in oneness and in truth. So when going to church, I used to try my best to be just like every other person. To be frank, sometimes I went to church just to see the girls. But anyway, my mother didn't know. So throughout my pre-Islamic life as a Christian, we used to go to church, have fun, go to Sunday school, and so forth. Now, just before I became Muslim, two or three years before, my mother was very adamant in searching for another religion. As a Christian at that time, she was reading the Bible a lot and she could realize there were certain things that wasn't flowing within the Bible, within the Bible and also with the actions of the Christians. So, my mother took the stand to look for another religion, another religion that was God-fearing, another religion that people were practical in practicing, and she started to look in Islam, and so forth. Now, as a teenager, as a child and a teenager growing up in Jamaica, we were taught different religions, Islam, Hinduism, Judaism, and so forth. Now, when my mother started to search and she found that Islam was the way for her and the closest way to worshiping the Creator, she invited it to me. At that time, I said to myself, come on, I know of Islam through religious studies, which was done in school. So it wasn't strange to me. But when she came and she told me about the oneness of the Creator, that was very burdensome on my thoughts as a child. Anyway, we lived on. My mother started to practice Islam. So she, she became a Muslim. She started to practice, she started to pray, and she even invited me to pray with her in the house. I prayed with her because I knew that what my mother was up on was the right way. But I was reluctant to fully enter into Islam because of the restrictions that I perceived at that time Islam had. So we moved on. I prayed and stuff. Occasionally, the Muslims in Jamaica would have religious getting together. So we'd go to, so the, the main or the religious sheikhs of that time would take the young men from the urban areas to the countryside to teach them Islamic principles. And I remember, you know, it was in August of 2001 when my mother took the opportunity to go and learn more about her religion after becoming a Muslim. So I went with her and I saw the Muslims, they were praying, and I sometimes, I think I prayed with them once. And I was happy being in that setting, setting off 
worshiping the Creator in oneness and in truth. Setting off being around people who were constant in remembering the Creator, and so forth. So we moved on. I remember that day up until now. The prior, the call of prayer was made, and all the Muslims went to the masjid to pray. Now, when I was getting close, I went and I made ablution. Ablution is a sequential act of worship where we wash or body part before praying. So I went and I washed and I headed to the masjid to pray with the Muslims. At that time, one of the sheikhs saw me and he said to me, Listen, are you a Muslim? So I told him, No, I'm not a Muslim. Then he said to me, You cannot pray with us. I was shocked. I was frozen in my steps and I was most and foremostly angry with what he said. He restricted me from praying. Now I knew at that time Islam was the way of worshipping the Creator in oneness and in truth. And that was embedded in my heart from a child. So I went furious to my mother. I said to mommy, Mom, listen, I want to pray. I want to pray. I want to worship the Creator. And this guy is stopping me. What should I do? My mother said to me, relax. You know, slow down. So we moved on. The following day, I took my shahada, where I said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. After taking my shahada, I was overwhelmed with the whole new life I just entered as a Muslim, true Muslim. Now, brothers and sisters, gentlemen, and viewers, Islam is a religion of peace. Islam is a religion of your connection with your Lord. Your connection. Now, in Christianity, as I'm accustomed to, there are certain morals. For example, that one should worship is Lord in oneness and in truth. One should not lie. One should not steal. One should not backbite. One should not have fornication with others. And so forth. Now, in Islam, these things are constant. We have these rulings. Why are these rulings in place? In order to keep mankind on the straight path to their Lord. So, it was a new. It was a new the information that my mother gave to me. It was a new the life that Muslims are living. Because, frankly, it's the only practical and truthful religion that anyone can find on the earth. So we moved on. My life went on and I was overwhelmed. I was enthusiastic. I was just new after taking the shahada, which was la ilaha illallah. So one, one has to be, one has to be open-minded. One has to be committed. One has to be, you know, having that connection with himself and his Lord. To know and to be aware that Islam is the right way. Like my life went on. One step another forward. My faith got stronger and my belief increased in the Creator as being one. I started to read the Quran. I started to go to the masjid. I started to observe Salat with the Muslims in masjids all over the place. Now... After I became a Muslim, the oneness, the things that happened, the things that implemented strongly on my heart was that the Muslims are humble with each other. When you enter the masjid to pray salat, it's a different thing. It's a different feeling that you have just entering the masjid, worshipping the Creator in oneness and in truth. When you make lines with the Muslim brothers, it shows a form of equality. It shows a form of humbleness. When you prostrate, when you prostrate and you worship the Creator in oneness and in truth, it's just amazing. Amazing, amazing. And I still have that feeling up until now on a daily aspect where I have that true connection with my Lord. Whenever I need something, I say, Oh Allah, Ya Rabb, grant me this. Whenever I want to keep away from something, I ask the Creator, please keep me away from this. And that's the happiness I have in my heart up until now, and I ask the Creator to increase it. 
Now, it's upon, upon you to be conscious of your life as someone searching for the truth, as someone hoping to gain that tranquility in his or his heart. It's upon you. So, these are some of the phases that I went through before Muslim and after becoming a Muslim and up until now. And I can tell you that Islam is the way for everyone, every human being, everyone. It's nice. It's good. It puts your heart at peace. Peace. That's what you need today. That's what you need to be at peace with yourself, to be at peace with your Lord, to be at peace with everyone around you. Thanks for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. And hope to see you again. Tune in. Assalamu alaikum. Mm -hmm.